Chimsapon, but popularly known as Joe as Ghana due to what I do. I'm a pencil portrait artist and also a painting design artist. Actually, I should become an entrepreneur not by mistake or not by um, not by chance or something. You know, um, it's something that I planned. Um, as in when I got down with SHS, um, I was not doing tertiary, so I decided to um, opt into an entrepreneur for um, some time before continuing to um, um, tertiary. Actually. So it was due to, you know, let's say somehow find some financial aspects and stuff. That is why I really opted to be an entrepreneur to finance myself for some time and then, you know, move on. The art is by Beth. It's my family. I do it. My dad, it's from my dad, actually. So my dad, myself, to my younger brother, to my sisters. So it's a family thing. It's, 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 it's a raw talent, so from childhood, I've been drawing since, I've been doing design since. So. The name Joas Ghana, I derived the name from my name, I'm George, actually. So um, I decided to use the Geo, as in G-E-O, and I added the arts due to what I do, arts, and I added Ghana due to the country which I find myself in. You know, so it's Geo Arts Ghana, derived from my own name and what I do. Actually, from school, I've been combining the, the business with school. So let's say I learned how to manage the two, both on site. Let's say I'm working, I close around 4.30. When I have an, um, a commission by a client or something, I get home, I rest about um, two hours. Then I work for about four hours. Then I continue the next day, the same movement. So I'm done with that, that particular commission. Either painting design, either um, pencil portrait or any of them. Been in a business close to 11 years. That's way back 2009 to date. I made art to works for celebrities. Celebrities, as in um, TV personnel, as in um, music, uh, in the music industry. Um, a whole lot, a whole lot of, uh, as in, um, let's say, TV personnel, this um, movie stars and stuff. You know, Jackie Apia is one of my clients way back, way back, way back. Jocelyn Dumas, um, in the music opportunity, that's um, this guy, Sarko Dier, my man, yeah. And a whole lot of musicians, you know, a whole lot of people, like, the celebrity to from the president, any anybody who has become a state of person, I, I actually did it for the state men. So I organized a program where I I actually did portraits for all the state people. So when you go to each of them, like from Kufu, from um, Rollins, Kufu, um, anyone that has become a president, you know, they all have my works in their houses. not been easy because starting anything you know it, it's not easy but the the you have to get in your in at the back of your conscience that you never stop until it happens you know and the sky shouldn't be the limit but you should hit above the sky so when you are facing some hindrances you are facing some um, problems and stuff you don't give up because that is what has keep kept me going actually that I need to push harder I've gotten a lot, a whole lot of um, hindrances and stuff where people even take advantage of you. You do works for them and they decide not to pay and all those stuff. But you keep moving because you know where you're heading towards. I 
as an artist sometimes um, I get ideas from scenes as in scenes of movies or scenes of the environment nature sometimes I see something and I'm like wow like I just admire what I've seen and due to that I come sit down put a pencil on the paper or the the, the, the brush on the paper or something and start doing something like creativity start creating something out of what I've seen so mostly I get ideas from those sites Of course, everybody is scared of um, taking risk. But business, if you are a business person, you, 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 you need not to fear taking risk or something. So my fear is to actually um, lose everything that I've made or out, out of my business. Maybe I, I wake up one day and I realize um, the name Gio has Ghana someone else is actually claiming that name you know like someone is claiming a, um, a copyright of your name or something you know so my fear is to lose the the the, the, the precious name that i've made as my greatest fear a whole lot of challenges you know mostly with my work it deals with pictures and then Others that the clients will always send a picture, you look on the picture and draw. Sometimes you get a picture and the picture will be deceiving. You have a picture and the picture will be deceiving. Sometimes they send you a picture, you look at the picture, sometimes you draw and the thing doesn't come. Like it's, it's like creating, you know, it's like creating. But you draw and you realize the resemblance isn't coming. So you have to rest. If you are stressed, you can't work. With my field, if you are stressed, you can't work. So you need to. So sometimes when when I realize that I go back to rest and I come back, then I be able to kill that. As I mentioned, um, after work I sleep for some time. Let's say I take about two hours to sleep before getting back to my own business. So after work I. The, the, I, I take a time to sleep before getting back to my own business. So I have some two hours there to rest before I bounce back to my own business. So that's the time that I get as in killing the stress before working. Okay, first of all, you are all working for the money, but it's the passion. The passion that I have. Me, my field is arts works, you know, arts works, creativity. So it's the passion that I have for it. If I didn't have the passion, like while I was working and then well, when, when I started, actually, I was not getting any money for what I was doing. So it was the passion that kept, kept me going. And now the passion with the money. You know, when someone pays you a huge sum of amount to produce something, you put, you give in your all because um, you are getting paid. A long run. Okay, mostly um, my clients get their 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 acts through um, transport deliveries. When I'm done with the work, I let you know. I send when I even start with the work, I give you work in progress for you to know what I'm doing, and then you give your 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 comments either. I'm on the right path or not. I know I'm the I'm, I'm, I know I'm on the right path, but I would want you to comment, give your comment, so that if you want me to add any details or something, I do it. So after I'll send the final work to you via WhatsApp, mail, or any means of communication, and then you see the final work. When you approve, then I send it through transport to your end and um, career services like career any form of career to your end. social media has really impacted in my business because when i started um i had no shop i had no gallery i had no had nothing you know so 
when I was even doing those cartoons and stuff, when I started with these, these cartoons and all those stuff, I started doing the commissions. That was way back 20, 2010. That is when I, I started taking commissions and stuff. So when I do the work, sometimes work in progress, then I push to my page on Facebook, on IG, on Twitter. So when I push to my page, then people get to see the works. When people get to see the works, then they they call me for commission and all those stuff. So social media has really helped us in, let's say social media is my gallery. So it has really helped in like promoting my works. As in making people see my works and seeing what I do. So my motivation actually came from God. And also, my motivation came from what I saw outside, outside Ghana. There are these um, people I was looking up to then. I mean, Messman, who is out there, like, he's also into, he's a very old man, 50s, 60s, who is working, on, who, who, who works on portraits, you know, very real portraits. So, um... I was looking up to him then, by then, you know, so that I could also hit that target. That's an international artist. I would say no pain, no gain. If you are afraid to take a risk, then you can never make it in life. In life, it's all about risk, you know. Even getting out, entering a car, coming here, it's a risk. So I'll advise anybody who would want to come into the entrepreneur field not to um, not to be afraid or something. You just have to be bold and learn how to take risk. Learn how to take risk. So life is all about risk. No need to fear. No need to shiver. Just work hard and pray and you'll be there. Okay, you know, I started this thing, as I, as I mentioned, like 11 years ago, commissions, like taking commissions like 11, 10 years ago. And I've had a whole lot of promises and stuff from people, like people in government and um, ministers, like this arti uh, artists, musicians and stuff, a whole lot of promises. And I do, we, we will take you here, we take you there, we take you there, we will we, we, we make sure we promote your works out there and stuff. I fought my way through. I fought my way through because I made clients out there in Germany, let's say in Europe and in US. So I have clients who I worked for. I send the works to them via a, um, DHL or something or any means, courier services to them. So um, I would say <laughs> if you don't help yourself, no one can help you actually. So I'm hoping that. Um, what I'm tag my target is to be an international artist, actually, to head towards um, global, like to hit global, take my words global, and also be traveling outside in and out, just like that, like in and out, just like that, you know. That is what I'm actually hoping. That's my aim, is to hit global, international, to be an international international artist. If you are afraid to take risk, you can never make it in life. This life is full of risk. Be bold and take the risk. <laughs>